Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Emmerich So Guapo, man. Street Certified News. We back with another one. In the last documentary, we laid out the life, the rise, and then the death of Bloodhound Lil Jeff. Only about a month later, after the death of Lil Jeff, um, a close friend of Lil Jeff, who was also a rapper from Chicago, who was also a guy gaining his own buzz, and who had recently inked the record deal uh, with Columbia Records, a guy by the name of Lil Schoon, he also, you know, tragically passed within this last uh, few months, man. It's really been big news. You know, there was a lot of rumors going on with the death of Lil Schoon. So once we did the documentary on Lil Jeff, man, and you know, Lil Schoon name came up a few times, we thought, you know, let's at least lay out the life and the death of Lil Schoon, you know what I mean? Just so that, you know, we don't want to leave nobody out. Lil Schoon definitely was a rising artist, man. Very lyrical of an artist. So for people who, you know, kind of like more lyrical artists, Lil Schoon was that type of guy. Yeah, before we go any further, man, you know, uh, if you guys could stop and hit that like button, it would be extremely helpful, man. We extremely appreciate it. Uh, when you guys do that, it helps the video get into the algorithm. I think with this video, what I've noticed is that whenever we drop docs and they, you know, and they get into the culture and they become something that people talk about, uh, those videos usually, you know, we usually get, you know, maybe 500 to a thousand likes on a video. And then I know, okay, cool. You know, people are really appreciating that, uh, that content. So for this video, man, you know, we did our due diligence. We really made sure we tried to lay out for you guys the life and the whole rise and process of the dude Lil Schoon. So for this video, man, I think, hey, if you guys can help us get to say like 500 likes, I believe this video get to 500 likes, enough people who would appreciate it uh, will be able to see it and appreciate, you know, the story on this dude Lil Schoon. With no further ado, man, hey, this week's story, the death of Lil Schoon. Let's get right into it. Assyrian Hogan, a.k.a. Lil Schoon, was born on May 12, 2006 in Chicago, Illinois. Schoon would grow up on the east side of Chicago in a big family, having multiple brothers and sisters. Schoon would remember good times at home, especially when he was young. Originally from 89th and Burley in the South Chicago neighborhood, Lil Schoon at the age of 15 would join GME a mostly stone set from over east and gained his now famous name Schoon by being one of the youngest in the hood to regularly pull up in different whips, all being stolen ones. Along with GME, another group of mostly black stones, EBE, would only years earlier be the group that backed Rockford, Illinois rapper EBE bands. Throughout high school, Lil Schoon would build his name over east for mostly stolen cars before eventually meeting Jeffrey Harris, AKA Bloodhound Lil Jeff. Schoon would go on to say in interviews that despite being both rappers, their initial connection wasn't on music with his friends. In April of 2023, Lil Schoon would release his first official single, Pop Out, followed by a mixtape and his video for Grave Diggers which would be the first video Schoon released that got him attention as a rising new rapper from the rack. With Schoon's name in the streets growing, other Chicago rappers will begin to use the word Schoon in their music, causing confusion among some fans. Some people in Chicago felt as if there was only one Schoon, while others would feel that the word was Chicago slang used to describe using a striker to go on a hit therefore fair game to be used in their music. In January 2024, Assyrian Hogan, aka Lil Schoon, would be forced to drop out of his downtown high school after two students, Robert Boston, aka Lil Rob, and Monterio Williams, aka Monty, were shot and killed in front of the school in a brazen broad daylight murder. After the death of Monty and Lil Rob, in the meteoric rise of friend Bloodhound Lil Jeff, Lil Schoon would drop a number of singles, both solo and with his now famous friend, including Buttonland, Schoon the City, and Running with Grave Diggers. 
which as of today sits at 1.8 million views on YouTube. Being one of the best up and coming drill lyricists and with multiple songs alongside Lil Jeff, who had already blown up, Schoon would sign a major label deal in relative silence with industry insider Jeff Vaughn and Signal Records. A former executive with Capitol Records, Vaughn would launch Signal and sign a number of up and coming drill artists, including, coincidentally, Chicago rapper Vaughn off 1700. <laughs> On June 8th, 2024, at around 5 p.m., Jeffrey Davis, a.k.a. Bloodhound Lil Jeff, was attempting to slide on a Trap City Zone 7 member, 66 and Rhodes, when a shootout erupted and Jeff was shot and killed. Lil Jeff, attempting to kill a rival gang member, would give chase while shooting a man multiple times. The man, being shot, ran to escape into a house where another shooter opened the front door and shot Lil Jeff. Allegedly, after falling, Lil Jeff was shot multiple times, with reports stating that he was hit anywhere between 2 and 15 times to the chest. <laughs> Following the death of Bloodhound Lil Jeff, Lil Schoon would largely remain silent. And for the next weeks, outside of cryptic social media posts, nothing would be shared by anyone close to Drill City. In late June, Schoon would record an interview with Chicago YouTuber DJ UTV. During the interview, Schoon can be seen speaking on the death of his friend, Bloodhound Lil Jeff, for the first time. It would also be during this interview that Schoon would reflect on how he had lived his life and how he wanted to change it. Before this interview could be released, on Monday, July 8th, it was reported that 18-year-old rapper born Assyrian Hogan, aka Lil Schoon, was struck during a shooting at the intersection of East 89th Street and Langley Avenue. Police would discover Hogan on the ground with two wounds in his chest. According to the Chicago Police Department, Lil Schoon and his friend Lil Will were together when they got into an argument with an unknown male. Will would later be found inside a car with gunshot wounds to both of his thighs. Take those, Suzanne. Take those, Suzanne. We're getting 24 rounds, 655 East 89th Place, multiple shooter high capacity, and the second shot spotter for an additional seven rounds at the same address, all coming from the side of the building. 662 Charlie, you show us one. 662 Charlie units and 6 and statewide shots are setting up 24 rounds, 655 East 89th place, and we're getting an additional 7 rounds that hit again. Uh, side of the building, multi shooter, a high capacity, and that's the nice place. I need the car to ride with 662 Charlie, 655 East 89th place. Following the death, Lil Schoon's mother shared a post stating that she had talked with him just 11 minutes before. She stated that at the time, Schoon felt uneasy, as if he sensed danger. While talking to his mother, Schoon would be in the home of his girlfriend, with her friend and his friend Lil Will. In home security footage, the group can be seen first entering the home, apparently without a key. Lil Schoon's girlfriend rings the bell to be let in by those inside. Schoon can be heard asking why she doesn't have a key, and the friend can be seen lingering behind the other three on her phone. Once in the home, Schoon's girlfriend and later post defending her loyalty to him claimed that her friend was acting strange and going to the bathroom often to use her phone, causing speculation to run wild that the friend, known as Nini, dropped Schoon's location. Within 48 hours of the shooting, Nini, the friend, had fled Chicago in fear of her life. Likely having his location dropped, Lil Schoon would walk out into that Chicago summer night seemingly aware that something was coming. During his brief time on the street, Lil Schoon lived like most young gangsters, fast and without regard. Sadly, for a young Assyrian Hogan, what was coming was the death of Lil Schoon. Man, appreciate you for rocking with us, man. It's your boy, Mixo Guapo. Street certified news. The street's most reputable source for urban media, man. This story about Lil Scoom is, is very much, you know, close to Bloodhound Lil Jeff. It's a sad story. Uh, you got young guys living too fast. 
And you know, sometimes it means that they life end a little too soon. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. Keep rocking with us, man. Keep tuning in with the channel. Hey, we greatly appreciate all the support. Again, it's your boy MXL Guapo, man. Street Certified News. We out.